40 years ago, two Israeli psychologists, Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky, wrote a series of studies so breathtaking in their originality, they would literally change the world. Their research invented behavioral economics and revolutionized everything from how we spend to how we are governed. Through an intense working relationship, they grappled with why people slip up during the decision-making process. The author, Michael Lewis, takes up their story in his latest book, The Undoing Project, A Friendship That Changed Our Minds. Lewis has made a career of describing how people get things right. In Moneyball, he explored how baseball team, the Oakland A's, used statistics to master the art of winning. What is happening in Oakland? It defies everything we know about baseball. The world today certainly seems a more uncertain place than our minds are prepared to accept. A world where overconfident experts fail to predict such momentous events as Brexit and the election of Donald Trump. So what other shocks might lie ahead? How do we prepare to expect the unexpected? Michael Lewis joins us now. That uncertain world I want to come to in a moment. But these two guys who are absolutely extraordinary, so extraordinary that you don't actually know, they don't know which one has actually concluded the formula that they're working on at any one time. It was, you know, it, it was a collaboration where they could not untangle their, their individual contribution and the world kept trying to do it and they couldn't tell you. Um, they could tell you that, they could tell you that when they got together in a room, what they produced was distinctly different from what either one of them produced alone. And they could tell you that when they were with each other, they kind of felt unlike when they, what they felt with other people, but they couldn't explain it. But in short, he concludes that humans err, and he is, in your words, well, that they are two of the great error spotters of modern times. I mean... But surely human frailty we knew about already. We knew that people weren't rational and that people did crazy things, what they show is the way people are systematically irrational. They, they all kind of make the same mistakes. That in, in coping with uncertainty, instead of judging probabilities, what they do is tell themselves stories. And, they, and the way they tell stories has patterns to it. And what they did was they uncovered the patterns and gave you kind of a, a, a guide to the kind of mistakes people will make. Well, we have two shocking patterns each side of the Atlantic, Donald Trump and Brexit both of which appear to have attracted a human herd moment. Yeah, that's true. And you can actually look at the Trump election right through the lens of Kahneman and Tversky. They, I think they would say uh, first that, would people, that, pe that people want the world to be a more certain place than it actually is. And it's one of the reasons they're attracted when leaders sound more certain than they actually are, or financial advisors, or doctors, or experts of any sort. And that the, and it's, it's, it's so the, the Trump's, uh, pose of total certainty and infallibility had that appeal. And I think they'd also say that he was masterful, just probably intuitively, at, uh, at, uh, at preying on exactly the weaknesses they spotted. They showed the way people think in stereotypes, the way they're distracted by vivid examples. But so, aren't you telling us that modern technology, is it capable of producing somebody as a reality television star, capable of ringing bells that are used in circus, theatre, whatever you like, and using them politically to con them into voting for him. Yes, uh, I mean it, it's it, it's. I, I'm not sure. I mean it's all it, it, the best con men don't know their con men. Uh huh. So uh, right. he didn't know he was doing it. Either. Well, I don't. I, it's un, it's unclear to me it just exactly how conscious and strategic he is. It seems to me he's kind of making it up as he goes along, and it happened to have worked. Uh, but but the the um, what would have terrified Amos Tversky and Danny Kahneman was this pose of, fallib of infallibility. I mean, they really do show you that the, the honest approach to your own mind is be a little skeptical about it, especially its gut judgments. But then what about Brexit, where a very simple idea, leave Europe, was tested and half the herd went for it and half the herd didn't? What do you think about that? I don't have a start. I think Brexit, there are things in common, but obviously between the Trump vote and the Brexit vote. And people are making these equivalences. I think it's more complicated than that. It's true in both cases, there were a lot of angry white people. And it's true that there is a kind of nationalist force on the rise. But I think that the, I mean, that compared to Brexit uh, or compared to Trump, the Brexit vote seems, seems a rational act. I mean, I, what we just did, is, uh, I mean, spectacularly insane. Uh, and they, these guys show that, like, if people can be systematically irrational, markets can go wrong in the way they went wrong in 08, and elections can go wrong. 
Well, it, I think people are going to have to read it to see why they went wrong. But thank you very much indeed, Michael Lewis, for coming Thanks in. Thanks for having me.